happy? I want to find more of our ancestors with Ewa. Someone must know the truth. Why they would leave us, if they did. All the things that Mercer said, we deserve to know. Alma thinks Mercer is planning something, and more RDA arrive every day. I will do what I can to help her find out why. His failure will make me happy. That armor fits you well. We have so much to learn from the Aranahe. Their balance, their artistry. I'm still feeling that flight. Anka's usually Took out one of those mine. Hey, you see anything good out there? Let me know. I could do with a better rifle. Mine's fallen apart. Supplies seem low around here. Things aren't so different here than in my hometown. You get up, you fight, you eat, if you're lucky. Then you lie down and you get ready to do it all over again. I figured at least with the RDA, the food would be good. It wasn't. <laughs> no wonder you left. I saw what their soldiers do to people here. People like you. I told Jin, get your stuff, we're leaving. He was happy to leave as well? Jin would be happy anywhere. Give him a stove and some timber to whittle, and he'll die happy. Nice threads. Their weavings are so beautiful. We have the Sky People running scared. You fight with your whole heart. A shame your friends do not. They do. Nor doesn't like to use metal, but he's helping the Resistance, and... Rinella is working with Alma. Talan. He thinks I don't see his eyes light up when a human speaks to him, but I do. I see how he scrambles to fix their gear and answer their questions. He wants their approval. He just likes human things. He who does not know himself will seek meaning elsewhere. But there is only so much I can teach him. I do not know what it is to be a Sarento. Neither do I. You are learning. And you can show him there is comfort to be found in Navi ways. Okay, fine. It was a stupid bet to make. Mm-hmm. I reckon I've seen Danny pick off targets at twice that range. Pretty comfortably, too. Maybe the Arana will let me examine how Home Tree is structured. I fear nothing will ever Gosh. The Home Tree's Hey, what do you got for me? A tablet I found. Dropped by one of our people. Do you think you can fix it? Ouch. Wish I could say yes. But what this tablet needs is a prayer, not a scientist. You said it belongs to someone in the Resistance? Yeah. Human, based on the boot prints I found nearby, and female, judging from the audio recording I snagged from it. They made a point to record in privacy, away from HQ. A human female. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Good luck. Is it still working? Any idea who might... They went out to rec... I guess it would be a bit rude to ask to study them, huh? Anka, did you... Welcome back. Hey, Priya. Have you been out in the rainforest recently? I wish. I have way too much work here. So, no chance you might have dropped something out there? <laughs> Only way that would happen is if I knocked something off my desk and it slid all the way out through the entrance to HQ. Anka, have you been out in the rainforest recently? Well, yeah. I'm a pilot. I go out all the time. Gotta keep an eye on those RDA patrols, you know? Any chance you dropped a piece of gear or tech the last time you went out? What? No way. Only way I could do that is if I'm literally dropping a tablet from the cockpit or something. Scrap can always be useful if you know what you're doing.
I guess I could get used to it here. I want to feel more at one with Pandora. We have so much to learn from the Aranehe. Their balance, their artistry. Think what we could do with one of them. To go one printers. of those mining outposts. I mean, huh? I'm not saying I no to having some. But how exactly do you steal a cool whole gear? Head? Here you go. Have a look. You take care of I yourself. I heard the Aranahe really hate humans, but probably not all of them. Nice thread. Yeah, seems like I'm holding this place together with duct tape and prayers. Their weaving was so beautiful. I'd like to see more. So this Ardmore, serious business, huh? That's the claims all crooked. They like someone a four-star general for their table manners. What if they decide to just? lands one of those There's ISVs on us. So I found this tablet out in the rainforest. You sure you didn't drop this? Definitely not me. Sounds like that tablet has more of a social life than I do. Welcome back. Why did you say tablet when I mentioned missing gear? I didn't say tablet. Just the first thing that popped in my head. I don't know. Were you thinking of this tablet? Where in the hell did you get that? An Aranahe gatherer pointed me to where you dropped it. What... What did you find on it? I recovered some audio. Was that you? Shit. We do not talk about this here. Follow me. Solek might know the answer. <sighs> Solek might know. I'll ask him. I hope the Aranahe come here. It's... Embarrassing. I went to that spot specifically so no one would have to be subjected to my nonsense. How much did you hear, anyway? All of it. I, I won't tell anyone. Oh, all of it. That's great. I know the wasps didn't take too kindly to my poem. Ugh, why did I go to that spot in the first place? Real rookie business. What was I thinking? I guess you were thinking about love. I'm not exactly the best when it comes to talking about these feelings or whatever. Just really wanted a place away from all the noise to digest all this. You know the saying, love makes dumbass people do dumbass things, right? A good nothing, that all did. Even without the RDA and these fun, tense times we live in, do you know how hard it is to try to be romantic here? I can't pick flowers without half of them trying to kill me. Maybe I can help. No, look, I appreciate the gesture and all, but let's not. I tried to get all mushy and ended up kicking the hornet's nest. Or a literal wasp's nest. Hive. Same thing. So forget it. I'll move on. I'm good at this sort of thing. Must be cool, flying on an ikran. Wind in your hair, bugs in your teeth. Good to see you. People are way faster. Oh, much. Or my Samsung. To go one of those mining outposts, huh?
I bet Jake's... Spears like feathers. How can my silks help in war? More arrow strings, maybe. You had better hope Nafika does not see you wearing Welcome that. Welcome back. Nora is young. She is naive. My mother she grieves her I mother. I do not know where it went wrong. But Renu was not happy with the dryness of my dish. You should not have baked it at all. Better have it raw, dipped in tart spineberry milk. That might have actually impressed Renu. The sky people are no real threat. They are tiny. Strong bows and sharp arrows. Friend. We will prevail. is right. The sky people are scum. But those berries were twice their normal size. You should remember that more is not necessary. My hunts are for hmm. not, not coming.
Ah, you there. Where is Vu'an? She knows I came here to practice. One of the Sarintu has come to watch my performance. My renown beyond the King Lord Forest is all but guaranteed. I... I'm sorry, but that's not why I'm here. You could at least have pretended. No matter. I assume you are looking for Vu'an? How did you know? She has an ear for fine music played expertly. Surely she would have returned from her foraging had she heard me play. She also mentioned she was gathering herbs for Neitu. And we all know how restless my mother's young protege can get. Where should I look? She likes to gather her herbs right across the river from here. Not much for changing her routine, Vu'an. She is especially fond of that grassy bit near the shore. Though the reason why escapes me altogether. My notes do not have clarity on the open water. One must be patient. If I give you my attention, you had better keep it. Etua is young. She is naive. The dear Sarentu. They scamper too. Ah, you there. Leto is in one of her moods again. When I asked if I could help, she just snorted and said to find her someone outside of our clan. Many of us have been curious about another strange sound, but Leto is determined to find it by any means. I last saw her scowling at River's Run.
Why drop these? I wonder if... Mm, maybe it's linked to... Mm, that's not it. Snapped in half. Teeth marks. A fight happened here. Must be Vu An's bow. Snapped. Maybe she ran. Maybe it's linked to. Vu An must have been taken by surprise. Viper wolves attacked, broke Vu An's bow, so she ran. Could follow the scent of herbs. You must be Vu An. Neitu sent me. She was worried about you. Neitu is always worried about me. Except she was right this time. I am trapped here. Trapped? By what? Viper wolves. With strange markings and no Kuru. An unnatural kind. Unnatural? Not of Ewa. They are faster than other Viper wolves. Mina. It is not hunger or fear that drives them, but... I saw sorrow in their eyes. 
They caught me off guard. Snapped right through my bow. They are looking for me. I can hear their prowling. Oh, the horrors they must have endured to turn so vicious. Did the Sky People do this to them? They have no peace, no calm, only the hunt. If they have your scent, maybe I can catch them unaware. Perhaps, but give them the mercy of a swift death. Only then will they finally be reunited with Ewa. The poor beast deserve that kindness, at least. Natural beasts. No kudu. Should take a closer look. Focus. Hajir, I just came across something strange. An animal. But tormented. It didn't have a kudu. Hajir, you there? No kudu. You sure? You're absolutely sure. Do you know something about this? Come see me in HQ. Hurry. Do not worry for me. I will stay hidden while you track down the Viper Wolves. You are back. You're safe now. The threat is gone. Oh, 
I thought I was going to die alone in this place. I can hold myself in a fight, but there is a reason I hunt berries instead of beasts. I'm sure you could have handled them all if you still had your bow. Oh, that is sweet of you. I will make sure Netu sets something special aside for you. A token of my gratitude. Maybe I should learn to hunt as well. They have this, this thing talk of war makes me nervous. nervous. You are not useless, Nitu. Your thoughtfulness saved my life. The Saren took it all the way. I did not even leave home tree. But it was you who asked for help, Nitu. Ah, it is you. I have told Nitu all about your heroics. Yes. It sounds like those Viper Wolves gave you quite a fight. I asked Netu for something to thank you with. The finest piece of Aranahe clothing. Wu An exaggerates my skill. My weaving leaves a lot to be desired. Thank you. I'll treasure it. Great. Now you're both a How can my think we will win this war? What if we do not? You are heading into the wild woods? Friend! Do not fear. The silk of my garb is thickly woven. A fine napkin it will make for the Thanator that gets you. If you are Fighting not careful Fighting the sky too. people never works. Perfect Quran. Who cares? Good to see you again. Etua is a champion. We should all follow her in fact. We are come to better yourself. You have stay sharp, young one. Katnap knows what is best, I am sure. But war? This is unexpected. They will wear out. The spears like feathers. for war. Hello, old friend. I bring you herbs for the pain and something else. The Sarantu and Aranehe are friends and one should always be surrounded by friends as our final moment beckons. The Saren too returned in my final days. My grandmother 
once loved one of you. I grew up with the songs of your clan. Perhaps our young Sarantu friend could sing? I know one song. Not the words, but... death with the songs of my grandmother clear in my heart. I shall tell her of this moment when I see her in Ewa. Of course. Rest. When death comes, I will be at your side. Come, we will talk more outside. Your friend seems brave in the face of death. What courage is there in death? The dead fear nothing. For only the living have something to lose. Such loss cuts to the core of who we are. I see it in my friend, Tsukiri. They lost a close friend recently. You brought great comfort to my friend in his last days. Perhaps you can make headway with Tsukiri where I did not. They say the Sarentu brought people together with stories. I would like to try. You are a credit to them. Tsukiri likes to while away the hours at Weaver's Flourish. I suspect you will find them there, stewing in their grief. Is right. Do not invite chaos. I fear the whole world will You must be the young Saren to Nafika will not stop talking about. Where are you? Are you not me or beast? Either way, I mean you no harm.
Where is this shell, Eteko? Tsukiri? Kaye thought I might find you here. Are you looking for something? <sighs> Nothing that can be found. My friend, Eteko, he liked to joke. Thank. Obsessed with discovery and adventure, too. Tried to make me believe he saw some mysterious colorful shell up here. A shell. Up here. What a liar. I told him he was lying. He said he would find the shell again and prove me wrong. Then went and got himself killed on the hunt. The fool. Would finding the shell bring you comfort? Having something that was important to your friend. It does not exist. It is another one of his pranks. That is all. Shell has to be. I have good news. I found Eteko's shell. Here. For you to remember your friend. But... No. I... Oh... Eteko... You were telling the truth. And I... I was so sure he was just... What a terrible friend I was. He promised once I blew into this shell, I would understand. That it was eerie and haunting. This will be my apology to him then. <laughs> this, this is the haunting sound Iteko wanted me to hear. Haunting is the right word. Iteko has pranked me once again. I cannot wait to join him in Ewa and share this with him. Haunting. <laughs> Come see me once I have joined with Eteko and Ewa. He will be so happy to be proven right. <sighs> when will I find... Already. There is no honor in fleeing this fight. Tell me, do you hunt well? Oh, I think we can do better than that. We will do Etua is young. She is naive. She grieves her mother. Or, what will it mean? Vefilu is leading a hunting party out soon. Want to tag along? 
Last time one of her family led anything, it turned into a food fight. <laughs> that was so long ago. We cannot hold now. You must be the young Sarent who Nafika will not stop talking about. I hear Nafika has a little project planned for you in the Weaver's Den. She's been asking for you. She turns everyone into a weaving student eventually. What kind of material is that? At least we have the numbers to attack from the sky. My hunts are for me, not the sky. What is it you seek? Choose your way wisely. What is it you seek? May the winds treat you well. What do you suppose we will do once the Sky People leave? Just live our lives, I suppose. A Saren to here! Welcome! How are you feeling? Should we be gathering tonight? I am a bit too.
There they are. Seriously? Pretty tired of risking my life for inanimate heaps of metal. Wish I had an amp suit. Uh, sure. For their own good, I knew Katnat would find courage in his heart. There is no honor in fleeing this fight. My aunt, there you are. Come, come. Find. RDA were gathered around that aircraft. I drove them off. It was brought down by one of our own. They did the right thing. They understand what we are up against. You saw? Yes. I see more than you think. I see you, Neon. Wait! It was just scouting! On my regular route! But then... The noise... The awful metallic buzzing... My blood ran hot, and I had to get a closer look. Like a fool, I was discovered and had to escape. That was you? You took down their aircraft? I had no choice. I was defending myself. You saw what was happening. I cannot believe you. The lengths you go to to hide your mistakes. No, it is not that. My father... He speaks to Katnat about me with such pride. They both expect great things of me. I did not want my failure to hurt our people's spirit. You both only want to look after your people. I wish you would trust me more. Yes. If I am ever to lead, I must trust my people. For your courage, you will also need to be better prepared for what lies ahead as well. cannot be avoided, for hunters especially. You know At least the King Lore have had their nest restored. No! I have not even thought about Good it Good to see you again. Now. Where does he go? I do not know even. That is why I was asking you. Our war still seems like nonsense to me. Saturn two. The sky people are scum.
The sky people are no real threat. They are tiny. Here to hunt with us. My hearts are for me, not the sky people. How can my silks help in war? More arrow strings, maybe.